This wall is mostly done. Um, I got out the old table saw table to do a bit of stuff. Made some stuff much easier. Made some stuff much harder. It's a bit of a pain in the bum. The, um, the blade is not quite parallel to the fence if you go by the markings and also the markings don't line up because everything is just ever so slightly askew I could I, I did actually flip the table saw over and spend 10 minutes getting it lined up but then I put it all back together again it was off 2.5 millimeters in the wrong direction so I overcorrected and I got frustrated and gave up so that's what the outside looks like to cover the gaps between the ply of screwed these strips on. I don't think it looks too bad. It'll look better when it's painted. Um, still got to fix up that little gap up there. But um, yeah, the inside of this wall is likewise done. The window's not in, obviously. Um, I've got to put those strips on there. And also the window sill. I'll put that in. The window frame is screwed in place. The glasses over that way somewhere. Um, yeah, I've done the electrical conduit inside the wall here and likewise over there. It's just occurred to me it might be handy to have some outdoor rated um, power outlets here. It could be not too hard to do. Um, Unfortunately, I've used up all of the nice dry ply, and I'm now down to the soggy ply, which is incredibly heavy and very wonky. Like, that there is a factory cut, and that there is a factory cut, and those two sides are not perpendicular. Like, that stud there is vertical, and the slab is flat, but the edge of the ply doesn't line up with the stud. So... I'm going to have to like prop up this corner, screw it in, and then the skirting board's going to have to be thick enough to cover the propped up gap. But, I'll get there. Um, I'll probably put up another time lapse just after this video. Because time lapses are fun. The baby's not here yet, but it's imminent. Imminent babyhood. Uh, I'm going to put a top over this in case it rains in the night. <laughs>